Scratch sprites, how do you make them, draw them, upload them, and download them? Well, stick around because in this tutorial of Scratch Street Basics, things are about to get a little bit stinky as we explore sprites and Scratch together. In just a moment. Hello world, it's the Surfing Scratcher here, teacher, surfer, programmer, and lover of learning, bringing you the goodness of coding through games. On this channel, we code projects together using video tutorials. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Be sure to check out the show notes and links in the description below where I list out a bunch of resources and unplugged activities that can help you along on your learning journey. All right, let's get stuck into it. All right, so you've pressed that create button and it's taking you here, the scratch project editor. Let's talk about sprites. So you can find sprites down here in the sprite pane. Sprites are almost always visual and they are the objects that perform actions in our scratch projects. Think of them like remote control cars. Remote control cars on their own can be pretty awesome, but they don't do anything unless we tell them what to do. The same goes for sprites in Scratch. We can draw the most awesome sprite ever, but unless we tell it what to do, it won't do anything. So let's now talk about the different kinds of sprites in Scratch. The first type of sprite that we can access are sprites from the Scratch library. You can just go ahead and scroll this massive long list. You can sort it by the labels up here, uh, and you can also enter in the search field. So if you wanna find these bananas here, we can just type in bananas, but I'm pretty sure if we also type in fruit, it'll include bananas in that search, which is pretty neat. If you go ahead and type in something that you wanna fly and you mouse over that, it will show a little animation to see if it animates. So that's the Scratch Sprite library. Go down here and you press this button, it will just give you a random sprite from that sprite library. Okay, the next type of sprite that you can make is when you paint a sprite. So you can just go in and draw into your heart's content. Now that's pretty ordinary, so let's just go ahead and delete that and let's go into our third type of sprite, which is an upload sprite. And we're gonna unpack more of the drawing in a second. So let's upload a sprite. The sprite that we're gonna upload is the pile of poop emoji. And the reason for that is students in my class absolutely love this emoji. So I'm just gonna give the mob what it wants. Let's go ahead and press the costumes tab now of our pile of poop emoji. We can give it a new name, just call it pile of poop. Beautiful. All right, so now we're in our pile of poop emoji or our sprite here in the first costume. You'll see that it's quite pixelated or a little bit blurry. It's not as crisp as you would have seen it at a smaller resolution. The reason for that is currently a bitmap and a bitmap is just a grid of pixels. Remember a pixel, if I just zoom in here, is just like a little square on the screen, a little square of light. So if I were to make this much bigger in our full screen mode, you'll see our scratch cat is lovely and crisp still, but our pile of poop emoji is quite blurry. So how do we get around that? Well, what we need to do is we need to convert our pile of poop emoji to a vector. So we've gone ahead and done that now, but that hasn't solved our problem because it's still quite blurry. So what we need to go and do now is we actually need to trace over our pile of poop emoji uh, to recreate it using vectors. Now vectors are just a way of giving mathematical instructions to draw images on the screen. We don't need to know the ins and outs of that. We just need to know that once we've created a vector, it's gonna look crisp at any resolution. As we go ahead and trace this emoji, I'm just gonna go through a few of these buttons and tools over here. What I wanna go ahead and do is get this bitmap and I'm gonna copy it and then I'm gonna paste it. The reason for that is I just wanna reference. because so we're gonna be tracing this emoji. It's gonna be hidden behind our vector. So we wanna copy here so we can refer back to it. Okay, let's go again and get our paintbrush tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and get the eyedropper tool so I can get that nice chocolatey brown color. All right, now I've got my paintbrush tool here. We can change the thickness of that tool. We can maybe change it down to, let's go seven. Seven's a lucky number, isn't it? And what I'm just gonna do now is literally just trace over it. Now it's okay if it's looking a little bit rough here, that's fine. I'm gonna speed this up so you can see it a bit quicker. So I'm pressing this arrow tool now to select the color or the paintbrush that I just painted. I'm gonna send it all the way to the back so that's now behind this bitmap. If I press forward, it's now just gonna jump back in front of that bitmap. So these are called layers and we can layer our image nicely like that. Okay, so as we look over here, our pile of poops looking all right and if we blow it up, it's looking pretty good. You can still see 
the blurriness of the bitmap behind it, but it's going all right. So now what we want to go ahead and do is create these eyes. I'm just going to do this over this emoji, or this bitmap here, and we'll transfer it across. Let's get the circle tool now, and the circle tool has a fill and an outline. So we're going to pick the color of the outline around the eyes, which is that color there, and I might just increase it to three pixels. I'm just going to draw, so we'll change that fill uh, to white. So we'll go ahead and click that white that is just there. Let's go ahead and draw a circle now. Just move it across slightly. And now let's go ahead and draw a black one. Cool, so what I can go ahead and do now is click both the pupil and the eyeball and I can group them. So now if I click off, I can just move the whole object. So I'm gonna move that directly across. If I hit the shift key, it'll drag it in a nice straight line for me. So there we go. I'm gonna go copy and paste that now. And now we have both of our eyes. Now we can create a googly eye emoji if we wanted to, but we'll just leave that one as is. Cool. Gonna go ahead now and we are gonna go and create this mouth. So let's create our outline and let's go ahead and draw our circle. Cool. Now let's go ahead and check out this tool here. So if I click on it, it's a reshape tool. I can go ahead and drag one of those points down to change the shape of the mouth, which is pretty neat. If I click back to uh, this tool here, this is a move tool and it will move the whole shape. So if I just nudge that with my keyboard keys, we can see now that now we have the mouth of our emoji. And I can just bump up that stroke to make it a bit thicker. Let's drag that across. Cool, and our poop emoji is going pretty good. Now you can go ahead and put in some final touches. You can put in the gradient there, the way that you would do that. Jump into your fill with the shape selected. You can go ahead and play around with these gradients. So let's just make that slightly gray. You see that's from the bottom. I'm gonna swap that around so it's from the top now. There we go, we've got that little gradient in there now. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that bitmap and we can delete the bitmap that is behind it now and we can also delete our cat sprite. And you can see we've got our poop emoji and there's a couple of little holes in there that we could go ahead and fix. All right, and there we have our poop emoji, which is in a vector form now. So we can increase the size of this up to 200 and it is looking pretty good. Although your head is still a little bit wonky um, on the size there, but that's just down to my drawing. Uh, if we make that really tiny, it's gonna look pretty cool as well. There we go. There are also some awesome websites out there where you can draw your own sprites and I'll link to them in future videos. All right, there's also another way that we can upload a sprite. And the way that we can do that is we can take a photo with the camera. So here is Surfing Scratcher right now. Here I am talking, let's go ahead and take a photo. All right, there we go. It's pretty dark where I am right now. It is nighttime and wow, we are really zoomed in. We can even go further in for a bit of super zoom action, but no, let's go right all the way out. All right, so I've got rid of that screenshot and I just wanna talk now about how to download a sprite or export it. There are two ways that you can do this. If I right click, on my pile of poop emoji down here, this sprite, you can export it. Now if you export that option, it will uh, export a sprite 3 file and that you can import into other Scratch projects. The other type of export that you can do is when you right click on a costume, so I'm gonna do that now and export on a costume. And that exports an SVG, which is a scalable vector graphic. And what that does is you can import that into programs like Adobe Illustrator, or it can be a graphic that you use on the internet. So they're the two types of ways that you can download and share your sprites. The last thing I wanna to touch on are sprite packs. Sprite packs are scratch projects where people have created a whole heap of sprites for you to use in your personal projects. They're not for commercial use, they're just for personal use. So let's go ahead and click on one of these to see what they look like inside. Okay, so we're in this Super Mario sprite pack now, and as you can see, the nuclear duck has gone ahead and created a whole bunch of sprites for us that we could use in our uh, Scratch projects, which is just unreal. So thank you, nuclear duck. You can go ahead and Google Scratch sprite packs and find more for yourself. All right, it's time for a scratchy question. I wanna know, how do you make your sprites in Scratch? You might have a favorite website out there that we don't know about. So you can drop a URL in the comment section below so we can go check it out or link to a Scratch project if you got a sprite pack. Shout out to VecDeasy.com as I use some of their vectors to create this video. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. Subscribe, ring the bell if you're around here and have a scout of all my other content which is on the screen right now. If you can't get enough, then head on over to my Patreon page where you can join a membership tier for access to exclusive content. But until then, I'm off to go find a wave. 
I'll catch you in the next one.